Alright, welcome to Adventures with PC Wabash. It is time to wake up the roo, so we're going to go ahead and get it uncovered. Then I'm going to look at the roof and see what it looks like after sitting here since October. We're going to fold up the tarp, put it away. Then I'm going to go underneath the camper and look at where all the wires come together because I was watching Hillbilly RV and he pulled the cover off of that and the whole inside was just covered with mud dauber so we don't need any complications when it's time to run the power so I'm just going to check under the cover today then I'm going to go ahead and get the vinegar water solution in the hot water tank so that can be sitting till tomorrow and then I'll come out and flush all that out fill up the fresh water tank with the bleach mixture and let that sit till tomorrow afternoon sometime and drain it, flush it, and all the everything should be good as far as the water system goes. But today, main thing is get the tarp off, inspect the roof real quick, should be alright. I've been in there a couple times over the winter and then go on do the bleach thing and wait till the markets. It is a little chilly out here. I don't know where this weather come from. There underneath the ladder. Okay. And then I'll unzip this one. And then I'll walk, go on the back corner and unzip that side. Oh, my camera blew over. Just a second. Check the other side. Oh, spread them legs out. So. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Right there, you know. Look at it. We got it uncovered relatively event free. Now I'm going to move you guys to a different location. I just bought a four pack of tennis balls, cut an X in them with my utility knife, put the gutter in like that, and that protected the corners over the course of winter. Mid grade, not super super expensive one but it did the job in the camper all the wires come into this box and it has some holes in it right there now 
I was watching the Hillbilly RV show, and he was doing a box or something. I don't have no batteries or nothing hooked up to the camper. That's why I want to do it first. He was on, he was on somebody's camper and opened this box up. Uh, and he looked in there and it was full of mud dollars. Well, this one is as clean as it come off the shelf. Alright, I'm over here at the hot water tank now. So we're just going to open this up. I got an anode rod been sitting right here. I'll pull that out. That should be plenty enough anode for next go around. So, I think I believe I saw this on, I want to say, RV Street. And then the RTVA did a, a video on it. So I said, oh, I can make that. So I made it for my pop-up. None of these joints are glued. So it's easy to assemble. And plus the tank has no pressure on it. So, you know, it ain't a whole lot going on in that department either. So you just take it, it's a, what size? This is three quarter inch, screw in fit. Then this part goes in to the top of that. Then you open up your uh, valve up here on top and that'll let air go into the tank. All right, now, we gonna put 30% vinegar in to this bourbon tank because this is a steel tank. The Atwoods are aluminum. So, I don't believe you need to do that with that. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start filling this up with 30% vinegar. Two gallons and then we'll cut the rest. Make sure everything looks good down here. Everything looks good down there. And then we'll cut the rest with some fresh water. And we use our hot water tank. We use our fresh water tank. But I do this, not the hot water, but the fresh water I'll do twice a year. It's time to get some fresh water. Oh, Sandy got fresh water. So I can start filling up this up. So we should have four gallons of fresh water going in. Well, maybe not. Anyways, we're on gallon number six. And now we'll just watch. Can you see this? See if you can see it with my finger. Mm -hmm. That's the pressure relief. When we get a little bit of water coming out of that, we'll just shut it down. Because this should be the six gallon. There we go. Our tank is completely filled up. So I'm going to go ahead and lock her down. Everything is holding water. No leaks. Like I said, I didn't glue none of them joints because what I do when this is over, all I do is rotate this down and let it drain and we'll see what we got coming out of it. And I will go in here and dump this RV antifreeze. I'm going, that's almost a half. I don't know how much is in there. I'll go in there and dump that in the bucket. Go to my low point drains back there. Run that in the bucket. Then I f fill up with bleach solution and turn on all the spigots. And as it changes colors, I just stop. But I'm going to try to conserve as much as that RV antifreeze as I can. I got two extra gallon holding tanks right here in my hand. Alright, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to climb back up on the roof. I got my four foot level. Sandy's got it. I'm going to put it on top of the highest point, which is that AC vent. Then I'm going to run it out to her and I'm going to keep the uh, level level. And we're going to drop tape measure down and find out exactly how tall this is. And then I can put a little sign on my dashboard in my truck so we don't run it up underneath any low breaches. Because I know the owner's manual says 10 foot 6 inches. So let me have that. 
Make sure I ain't got no crud on my shoes. They look good. I'll, I'll hand it off to you as soon as you get up. Oh, well, I could duck it. No, no, just, I don't like you being up on the line. Yeah, Sandy just had total knee replacement. I don't like her being up on ladders. Yeah, I'm protective. I'm at the highest point, making sure my, I'm going to, I'm even going to go the extra two inches for the height of the level. We want to be good. All right, we are level. Huh? And it had three, ten foot eight and a half. Is that with the three inches at it? Huh? So ten foot eight and a half. All right. So the extra two from the uh, level here. So the factory is right on point with the height of this camp. Actually, see it in Owens Magnum. So ten foot eight. We're good. Tomorrow we'll be sanitizing the water tank, running all the antifreeze out of here, because our first trip is this Thursday. All right, well, from the new name channel, Adventures with PC Wabash, first video of that title, we are out till tomorrow. See you later.